Here is a breast biopsy. Notice there's an abundant amount of pink fibrous tissue or stroma. Notice you could see little groups of lobules like here. Notice you could see some cysts or dilated ducts like here. Uh, here's some lobules. And uh, here are some lobules here that look like they're uh, quite a bit more epithelialized than these normal looking lobules. So let's take a look at it. Let's blow it up a little bit. And notice that in this lobule and in this lobule, you don't see lumen within the asini anymore, do you? You could see that uh, in the lobule, every asinus is completely packed with cells, but the lobule still keeps its overall configuration. This is absolutely classical for lobular carcinoma in situ. It's a malignancy. The cells are rather uniform, however, and uh, from a biologic behavior point of view, it usually does not uh, progress too quickly into infiltrating lobular. Very often, the best treatment for this when you see these microscopically is to do nothing, uh, but they are still technically a malignancy. You can notice there's no infiltration of this anywhere. However, there is another uh, duct, I'm sorry, another lobule just above it in which you could see much of the same pattern in which the lobule maintains its overall normal configuration. But when you blow it up, you could see that the asini are just packed with these cells. And this is about as uh, high as we can go. This is lobular carcinoma in situ. Sometimes you see little vacuoles within these cells like you see in many breast cancer cells. And if you were to study them carefully, you could see that some of them are a little bit bigger and darker and lumpier and more irregular like here than they should be. So it's cancer. But lobular carcinoma in situ characteristically uh, persists for many years and does not infiltrate. Thank you very much.